Hello, this is your Auntie Pam with I-86 that acting a fool because I double dog dare you. <laughs> Baby, let me tell you what happened. Okay, now, this is out, this is in the Out of Character series. Um, This will end up happening. I was at home watching TV, right? So, all of a sudden, I hear a whole bunch of women screaming. And then I see a whole bunch of people running on my porch. Okay, let me get up and see what's going on. Because, uh, we cutting up over here again. And all I heard was, Blake, put the gun down. Put the gun down. And the women were screaming. They were, like, piled up in the corner on my porch. And when I opened the door and I looked, I'm looking at five different women over here. On top of each other, piled up. I look over, mind you, my truck, for 90% of the time when I was living, um, where I was staying at over the projects, 90% of the time, my truck was parked in front of my door, which was the first parking space, which was very close. Oh, no more than like 15 feet away. Yeah, 15 feet. So, uh, why? We don't even know who the dude is. But one of the guys that stayed over there, uh, you had beef with him. You had him up against my truck. You had him scripping down naked with an AK-47 in your hand. And you just kept, take off your socks. You take off your shirt. Take off your wife beater shirt. Take off your pants. I mean, he's sitting here instructing him to get naked. I'm sitting here looking like, so this Magic Mike part too, or... Is, is is this the 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 club? We at the Jenga Lane show or what? We at the male script club? What we what we got going on here? Cause <laughs> baby, you had him getting out of everything. The jury, the what, the everything. And I said that, and I said, oh okay. So you kept pushing him up against my truck with the uh with the gun, telling him what to take off. Baby. I don't remember having on shoes. I really don't. I think I had on my night. I had on my uh my gown. I had on my nightgown because it was uh actually early in the morning. It was early, early in the morning. And so uh, but I was watching TV though. Baby, like I said, I remember having on a nightgown. I don't remember having on no shoes. I don't even know what my hair looked like. My hair may have been all over my head if I didn't have on a wig and I really don't even know. I barged right on up out that door. And the girls was like, he got a gun. You see, he got a gun. Don't go out there. Man, you, I, out of character series, I, I don't care. I didn't encounter a whole bunch of these little fiery wannabes with guns. And y'all ain't trying to use them. So, I walked right on out there. I told him, I said, if you don't get the off my truck. Now, I didn't say the words, but you pretty much know what I said. Because, like I said, even then, I was using some words. But I can't say that on here. Mm, no. But, uh, baby, I cussed him right on out. I told him, I said, baby, the one with the gun. I said, baby, I said, you ain't got no money to pay me. He ain't got no money to pay me. I said, you put bullet holes in my truck. I said, you finna give me $500 to get that fixed? I said, possibly a 1000 I said, because from what I see, you trying to get money out of him. So, obviously, you broke. I told him, I said, man, if you don't get the off my, this me start back cussing. He looked at me. The other two dudes around the corner, that's always there. Miss Pam, Miss Pam. Now. I'm like, this right here. Uh-uh. No, I got this. Because y'all can't pay me. I'm, I'm smacking my hand. Y'all can't pay me. Get off my truck. I'm acting a dog on food. Why the dude with the gun looked at me like, oh, ma'am? No, uh-uh, no, don't ma'am me. You just get him off my truck. Maybe that thing told him, hey, pick up your own. Um. Now, he was all the way down. He was stripped all the way down to his boxers. He said, hey, pick up your clothes, man. Pick up your stuff, man. Come on, let's go on down the sidewalk. Why everybody was looking at me crazy? Because I stood right there in that dude's face. And kept telling him to get the hell off my car. I bet you he got old boy. He told old boy to get off the car. They walked on down the sidewalk. He commenced to making him script on down when he got to the end of that sidewalk. 
I walked back on the porch. I told them girls, I said, now y'all can stay on the porch as long as you want to. I said, uh, you know, if you feel safe right here in the little corner, just get some pop up. I said, you can stay right here in the corner. I said, um, leave whenever you feel, you know, ready. Never mind me. I walked back in there. I shut my door. All I heard them girls say, that be crazy. <laughs> I was a B that day. I didn't care. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Did you see what she did? She just walked straight up to Because if you was going to use that gun on him, you would have did it by now. All you call yourself was doing was trying to scare him. That was just a little scare tactic. With you making him screw up in front of everybody who holding a gun on him. Because if you wanted your money back that bad or drugs back that bad that he had because he was a drug dealer at the time. But if you wanted all of that back that bad, you would have did something about it when you first got over there. Mind you, we got three security gates and you know you can still sneak in but the thing about it is if you were gonna do something you would have did what you needed to do and you would have left but obviously you call yourself trying to be big and bad and trying to embarrass the boy and all this other stuff whatever i ain't got time for all that because see like i said a lot of them i can call a bluff because like i said if you was gonna do something you would have did and you would have left y'all wouldn't do nothing but trying to make it seem like y'all was big and bad okay i am too i, I got what you got and more weapons in my uh, stash. I know how to shoot a gun, do you? And like I said, because I'm not trying to brag, but if I want to clip the dog on wings off a fly in the air, I can. You know, like I said, not to brag, but um, if you're going to use it, baby, use it. But half of y'all that got them don't know how to use it. And like I said, you put them somewhere where you got some real gang members. You put them somewhere in the military or something like that. Maybe y'all be running around here <laughs> pissing on yourself because you wouldn't be able to handle that particular environment or situation. So stop running around here trying to care them, trying to pretend like you're big and bad if you ain't going to use it or if you ain't going to do nothing with it. Because guess what? You ain't trying to go to jail for real because as soon as you laying in jail, what you going to be doing? Crying, calling your mom and your grandma, how much I'm bailing you out? And your mom and your grandma, how much I'm now because you ain't handled being carrying a gun? Because baby, we down here in the South. Like I said, you 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 got a lot of pretenders. Because like I said, over there on the West Coast and up north, baby, they don't play. They have the business. They keep it moving. They don't care whether they get caught or not. They don't care about murdering you in the street. Honey, whew, cha. But like I said, you got a lot of pretenders down here. And if you were going to do something, you would have did it. But they real scary. You ain't trying to go to jail for real. At all. So like I said, stop using what you will stop carrying around what you know you ain't gonna use thinking that you you know scaring folks because like i said baby at that point i just didn't care i wasn't scared it was it stupid of me to do that yeah it was because see with you not knowing how to shoot and your finger on the trigger trying to prove a point you know you could have accidentally shot me because you scary like that and you could have just accidentally you know your finger could accidentally hit the trigger or whatever but like i said me doing something stupid once again because I was out of character and y'all was pissing me off. Y'all was getting on my nerve. And I got tired of y'all sitting here trying to mess with my property that I'm working for or working hard for. Like I said, the truck was given to me, but I still had to work to keep, you know, the maintenance up on it. And I still had to, you know, work to keep the insurance and to keep this and to keep that. And, you know, you can't just get it and, and, and ride off of air or ride off of water. No, you still got to put gas in it. And that was an F-150, baby. I had to put $100 in there a week. Hear me when I say a week. And that's just me limiting, limiting where I was going. Because actually it costs more than it, you know, especially depending on what job I was working at the time. Like I said, I always had two jobs. So depending on what job I was working at the time, when I was selling insurance, I had to keep 150 in it a week. When I was working at the salon, I had to keep 100 in it a week. So you still looking at uh four to $600 a month. You know, so... Mm, mm -mm, no, like I said, y'all ain't finna disrespect me or my property like that when y'all ain't got the money to give it back to me or repair it or whatever but yeah i just wanted to share that story with you guys uh thank you for watching like share and subscribe i love you and peace